Hello, welcome to the GRE Math Subject Test Video 2. Our goal is to provide avenues for approaching problems on the test that will significantly save you time on the test. Today's problem is an integral that is akin to a lot of um, problems that appear on the GRE Math Subject Test um, in terms of integral uh, problems. And that is this integral right here. Okay, so at first sight, this integral looks a little bit intimidating. The first term in the integrand, the cosine t, is okay to deal with, but this piece of the function seems a little out of hand. Okay, there's one thing that should be alarming, though, about the integral in question, and that's the bounds. Notice that the bounds are negative pi over 4 and pi over 4. They're symmetric around 0. That should give you an alarm to look out for an odd function, because the integral about a symmetric interval around zero of an odd function is itself zero. All right, so let's examine this seemingly complicated function right here in the integrand. If we take a look at the function square root of one plus t squared, notice t squared is even, and square root of one plus t squared itself will be even as well. Now, sine of t is an odd function, so sine of t cubed is an odd function as well, and cosine t is an, odd, is an even function, so cosine t cubed is even. All right, so we have the product of an even function, an odd function, and an even function. So this entire function here is odd. So the integral of that entire piece is zero about the symmetric interval. So this seemingly complicated integral simplifies to just the integral from negative pi over 4 to pi over 4 of cosine t dt. Well, that's fantastic. We can compute that using standard integration, and we get the square root of 2. So the big time-saving tip today is when faced with complicated integrals, one first thing to observe is the bounds, and if they're symmetric about zero, and if they are, look for an odd function for which you can immediately determine that the integral about this interval is zero.